Hey everybody, I'm KK. I'm Kristen. And together we are KK Crochet. Just testing to see if she knows. <laughs> um, welcome back to the channel. We thought we'd give an update. Now I'll preface this by saying that we have not been able to get to our post office probably in about gosh, I don't know, three or four days, five days maybe. Um due to our schedules and an issue with our post office. So there you go. The hours with our post office are, are, we do not have 24 hour service where we can go in and get to our post office because of something that happened with the post office. So um, they're working on fixing it, but at the moment it's locked when it's closed. So, and our post office, like our post office closes in the middle of the day for them to take lunch and then it closes super early in the evening once it reopens. So it doesn't work for our schedule. Anyway. Y'all don't care, right? <laughs> but you do Can care. Cause, you do care because that's why we don't have our packages. So anyway, uh, this is up to date as of early last week when we got packages. So um, some of these you've seen. We did a video about the hats that we had received already. And because I wasn't feeling well, we just did the video. And so you saw pictures. But now we need to update the big map. We updated the little clear map that we put the white map on there. <laughs> she getting so excited. Um so now we need to update this map. So we're going to test our my geography skills again, which we all know are non-existent. So Crystal had to help me. So first off, we have to put a B for the first time. Drum roll on Pennsylvania for Miss Jean Unger, and we appreciate her donation. And then we have to put a B for the first time on Oops. Oregon for Mara from Monthly Crochet, and we appreciate her donation. And then we have to put a B for the first time on Rhode Island, which is super, super tiny and right underneath Massachusetts. And I was trying to figure it out because it looked like we had a B on there already. And I went back and checked records and no, that was for Massachusetts. So this one's going to go down here, but it's for Rhode Island. So y'all remind me if I get messed up, right? Thank you for your donation, Cheryl. We appreciate that. And then um, Kai Lord. Uh, I think it's actually Kylene if I'm wrong I'm sorry um, but her donation is from Maine oh, I'm wrong. you Maine. thought Florida you're wrong Maine is up here oh yeah the big and I can't see. see Daisy yeah this map was not the, the greatest idea we needed a different one there for Maine and then we appreciate your don donation and because I can't talk blah 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 and then we also have um, a donation, Corrine. I'm sorry, it's Corrine, not Kylene. Sorry, Corrine, and I love your name. Um, from Tennessee again, from Diane Mason. I'm not gonna put a B on there for her because we already have put a B on there for her. There. Hmm. There's one right here for yep, her. Yep, because she's already donated before. Yay! Thank you, Diane. We appreciate yes. your donation. And then I have another PA, which is Patty Barker. Thank you. We appreciate your donation. And then we have one from Florida that's new, which is Shirley Gartland. And Shirley, my family, my extent, my, my grandmother's family was Garten. So I saw your name, I was like, oh, Garten, cool. Not, but close, right? We appreciate your donation too. And for Patty and, um, words? I know, I'm thinking. Patty and Jean, I really appreciate your donation from Pennsylvania. All the donations mean a lot to us, but Pennsylvania is the state that my brother was in um, when he passed and where he lived for many, 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 many years. So we always appreciate those. And I'm not going to lie, I did look up your, your city to see how close you were to where he lived. And uh, we always hope that someday we'll get to meet people that knew him that we didn't know about. So he lived in Bedford and he also lived in Shellsburg. So if you're from that area, um, send us a message. Let's see if we, if you knew, you know, if you knew him before. And I'd love to hear stories. So anyway, we are at eight hundred. Yeah, da -da 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 -da. yeah. I think it's eight hundred and nineteen. Last time I checked. So that means we are short thirty-one hats and twenty-six states. So I know some of those states we have hats coming. I've talked to people, but we don't count them until they get here. So we're on our way. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, we'll leave something in the description box for you to go look at the videos. Um, we've posted so much about it that, you know, I'm sure that some of you are like, stop posting. But um, we're almost there, and the deadline is November 
24th, I had to think, because there's two deadlines for two different things. So that's for this part of Bumblebee's Mountain Outreach. But I also found that we had lots of cards and things that we hadn't shown while I was sick or maybe from before. So, um, yeah, we thought we'd show those. So this is from Mara at Mindfully Crocheted, Portland, Oregon. How nice. Pretty. Very pretty. It's also from Mara. Yeah, She's and it's, it's funny that she sent this one. It says Oregon. This is from Mara at Mindfully Crocheted, and it's a rhododendron. And the West Virginia State Flower is a yep. rhododendron. So I think that's kind of funny. I love those. My mama used to have those in the yard. And she also sent this really pretty card. And I won't read what people write inside because I think that's personal. But, um, yeah. And she sent something else. Hold on. Kristen's really excited for me to show these so she can start using it. <laughs> so, first of all, I love how she does it. There's these little cords, and she has little holes punched in them, but this is two hearts. I love that. So cute. And then this one is... Let's see if I can flip it over so you can see it. Nope, I did it wrong. Hold on. It's an emoji. And if Which smiley face is kind of just my mascot this year. I don't yep. know why. I've kind of taken it and been like, mm, yep, smiley yep. face. That's Kristen's thing, so I'll give her hers. And there's a cute back card. It has like a little flower and a butterfly, so it's like a boom. Oh, yeah. Cute, cute, cute. And then this one is from Kay, which on YouTube she's AU Alley Cat pretty and this one is from Bailey Bailey and these were from Mara too and I didn't even know I don't know I don't know who opened up the, the gift from, that's why Kristen opened it up and I didn't get to see it all that happens frequently here like I don't get to see it all until we film because I think I'm looking at it all but we're opening up multiple ones and Kristen and Luke get excited and they try to go through and film everything like they they open it up I've explained the process before they open it up take a picture we put it on uh, Facebook and then we do a video later but these are super yeah. stinking cute with all the animals of course Kristen's like there's a pig there's a rabbit Yep, rabbits and pigs are her thing this year. And cows. And cows. Can't cows. And cows. So that's where we are with hats. If you'd like to join in with our challenge, please do so. Um, if you have questions, you can email and let us know. But the hats go out into the community here for those. It, it's not even about need. It's about mental health and about um, showing love and kindness to others regardless so that they know that people care. And so this year we'll put something in there. I haven't designed it yet, but some kind of something that will allow us to reach out and let people know that they're cared about that talks about not our story but it'll give them a link to our story on Facebook and we'll give like some kind of inspirational something and then I would like to include um, suicide prevention but something like bracelets or something but I'm not sure like I'm thinking I would need about 200 or something like that and I'm not sure I'm just not sure I'm not sure about mm, everything like I've never done that before so I want to find something that um, I can hand out to everybody, but I have to look it up and find out where to get them and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's where we stand, and we hope you'll join in with us. And don't forget to be kind because you don't mail this journey. That's right. And there was something else I was going to talk about, and I don't remember what it was for Bumblebee. So if um, I've forgotten it, I'll catch it on another video. Bye. <laughs>